Hi, I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos, and I'd like to show you a uh, Howard piano. Here it is, built by Baldwin, and this is back in the days when Baldwin was really something. Baldwin was a, a top maker um, through the uh, early part of the 20th century, through the mid-century, and they started to decline, not until maybe the, the 90s or so. So this piano was built in 1960, well before Baldwin started to decline. So this is a great piano, really solidly built, and I know I have completely uh, worked it over. I'll play it for you briefly, and then I'll talk about everything that I've done to it, and, uh, and then maybe I'll play it again. Okay, so everything that I've done to this piano, I, I took it completely apart. I took the keys out, I took the action out, everything out. I had the pedals out, the trap work disassembled. Trap work is the pedals. Um, and of course it was filthy as every single piano always is. There's, there's layers and layers of dust in there. And I, I cleaned it very, very thoroughly. I took it outside after I cleaned it and blew it out with high pressure. So, you know, clouds of dust. And, and inside, it's just it's immaculately clean. It looks like it's it's brand new. Um, the action, all of the screws. There's several hundred screws on the action. Those get loose and cause clicky uh, keys. I tightened all of those up. I lubricated all of the all of the, the action parts that need lubricating. Um, spaced spaced things in there so they work properly. Um, these pedals. I buffed these pedals. That's why they look like they're brand new can see and lubricated all of that so it's a totally silent totally silent uh, operation the uh, the action I, uh, I I buffed these keys and cleaned the sharps the action um, when I put the action back in I regulated the uh, blow distance which is the distance from the hammers to the keys when the hammers are at rest I regulated the let off which is the distance that the hammers um, pull away from the hammer when you play it very softly and you, you notice that it, it happens when you play it hard as well but uh, I, I, I regulated the checking which has to do with repetition um, I regulated the damper lift which is the timing that the dampers pull away from the strings um, what else the uh, of course the lost motion which which uh, has to do with giving you a nice, firm touch, instant response as soon as you touch the keys. Uh, I tuned it, brought it up to pitch, it's up to concert pitch. And, and then the, all of the exterior, I went over it with, um, with a cleaner and a, uh, um, an, an Old English uh, Lightwoods product. And it looks beautiful. So this is, I'm, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. So this is a great little piano. I'll play it for you again. Let's, let's listen to the uh, bass.
nice touch, very consistent. All of those things that I, that I did on it um, are, uh, uh, they, they translate into a very smooth, very consistent touch. Um, and, that's, and that's something I'm, I'm certain that this piano hasn't seen since it was manufactured. And I would say that, that, uh, that well over 99%, probably 99.9% .9 of pianos in its price range desperately need everything from the cleaning to the regulation and the tuning and the, and the pedals, lubricating everything, tightening everything. So this piano is basically in perfect condition. Actually, let's look at it before we end the video. Let's look at the inside. You can see how clean everything is and how it, how it looks like it's brand new. And then we'll finish up. So anyway, I think that uh, this piano, when compared to other pianos in its price range, this piano is, is just in perfect condition and, and far superior to, uh, to uh, any, any of those other pianos that I find uh, that, that desperately need all of that work that I did on this piano. So uh, please come, come try it for yourself.